Good afternoon. My name is Becca and I'm here for a midweek connection video to connect you with what's happening in the life of our church this week. This coming Sunday, so I'm just going to jump into it. Um, so, but if you are here, I'd love to hear from you. Um, and if you have any questions along the way, feel free to post it in the comments. And if you're not doing it live, but later I'll come back and check the space to see um, if I missed you. But coming up this Sunday, it's Super Bowl Sunday, and um, for the past several years, we've been participating in Super Bowl of Caring, where we collect um, non-perishable food items in a friendly competition, depending on who's in the Super Bowl that, this year, that year. And this year, it's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Kansas City Chiefs versus the commercials. So we have a different category of items for each of the things that you um, can bring items for. You can decide to bring items for all of them. I know um, I saw Donna did that today. She brought had some delivered and she had food for all three categories. But I wanna go, I can go ahead and show you over here um, who's in the lead so far. So you can drop off these donations anytime in front of the sanctuary and we'll pick them up. But let me see if I can show you. Um, over here, oh, I gotta, let me flip my camera. Okay, we have the TV ads box is overflowing. The Tampa Bay looks like it's in last place right now. And then Kansas City Chiefs are um, doing pretty good. So um, if you'd wanna change that, I invite you to bring more donations. We'll empty those out and make more space because I know a lot more stuff will come in between now and then. But again, you can bring those donations to the church anytime and leave it outside the sanctuary and we'll bring them inside once we see them. Or if you come to the courtyard service, you can bring them there and we'll tally them all up and announce the winner. And again, here's the list of what we're collecting for. So each category has um, I think is it four items that you can buy for? And all of these donations are going to go towards um, the Navajo Nation, the Dilcon chapter. In addition to food items, we are also collecting items for the cold. So winter boots and blankets, and y'all have done an amazing job already responding. And so our sanctuary may not be being used for worship, most Sundays, but it is being used for church, for service. And so it's great to see how much has come in for that. We're a church that seems to always be collecting things. So you can also bring items for our Interfaith Food Pantry. We're constantly collecting for that. And then also our little food pantry that is out in our parking lot um, that anybody is welcome to. So a lot of different opportunities for that. I don't know if I can get this to stay still. Okay, um, also coming up this Sunday, we are having a new member slash visitor informal fellowship time on Zoom taking place at 1 p.m. And it's a chance for anyone to come and join us in an informal setting. You can ask questions to help you discover more about our church, get to chance to meet a few other people and um, hopefully learn more about Foothills and for a chance for us to learn more about you and connect in that way. Again, that's Sunday at one. But today I also wanted to draw your attention to the way we organize all of our service op opportunities to serve and worship. There's several different categories um, that make it possible for lay leaders to help put worship on each week. And so, um, we used to have a sign up for each different category, but to make it easier, we decided to reorganize it and Brandon's put it all in one place. So there's just one sign up you go to. So I have it pulled up here. This is what it looks like. It's sign up genius. So you might see some ads, third party ads on there. And it's organized by this Sunday. So for example, this is the Sunday coming up. Um, there's a spot for a greeter slash someone who is set up and, um, more than one person. So if we have two, that would be great for this role. You arrive early, you help with 
getting our welcome table set out and our communion and that kind of thing. But then also as people come to the courtyard service, you act as a greeter and welcome them there. Um, we already have our lay leader filled for this Sunday, but this is an opportunity for anyone to serve in. Um, and I know there's openings and following weeks beyond this week. Um, so Jim Gone, he'll be the one doing it this week. And that's the person in worship you see who offers the opening prayer at the beginning of worship. They typically read the scripture passage. And then at the end of the service, they give the invitation for giving or sharing our gifts time in the service. And then the children's moment, oftentimes I'm the one that leads it, but I welcome sharing that role with anyone else who might feel called to do that. And another thing to note is that you can do this by signing up and arriving in person to lead these in the courtyard. Or if you're someone joining us from online and um, you would like to lead and participate, you can pre-record a video and we will input that into the worship service. So you can serve as a lay leader or children's moment leader um, through pre-recorded video and I'll, we can connect with you about that. Um, some of the other roles include an acolyte and this is for children's ages 6 through 12. The, the acolyte is the one that lights the Christ candle at the very beginning of our worship service. Um, we're also looking for people to help with being a tech assistant on a Sunday. The tech assistant is the one that's going to help with our live stream. So you'll have our iPad that is already preloaded with all of the lyrics for worship and the titles for the different parts of worship. And you help make worship go smoothly by um, running the iPad during the service. It's a huge help. I'm so grateful and um, that we've had some young guys step up to do that recently and look forward to seeing some more of them. And then let me see the, oh, a brand new position that we've just added to our volunteer list for Sundays is an online greeter. We are so thankful that we are able to join for worship online. Um, and so similar to how we have a greeter in person that's there to greet people, we also want to designate a different person each week to be an online greeter. And so you're there to kind of watch the comments and check in on different people if there's any questions people have. Um, but also you're going to uh, make notes of past, the prayer concerns that are shared or if you see a new name that is joining us so that we can record that and then follow make the follow-up um, the following week. Um, so that's a perfect opportunity to serve if you're someone who's not yet ready to come in person, but you very much want to participate and you're joining us line. That would be a tremendous help. We really appreciate having you serve in that way. Um, and if you've never served in any of these positions, please reach out if you have questions about them. We want to equip you so that you feel confident and know what you need to um, do the job well. In Look ahead though, looking ahead um, over the upcoming weeks, I'm going to invite different people who have served in these roles to share a little bit about what it's like so that you can get a better sense and a better idea of what um, is involved. Additionally, this coming Saturday is our blood drive, February 6th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, check out the sign up link. If you yourself can't donate blood or you're already signed up, share it with a friend or a neighbor. We'd love to fill up all of our slots because we know that the need for blood donation is high right now and it would meet a critical need in our community. Let's see, I'm gonna check the comments just to see if there's any other things that have come in. I'm not sure, hopefully this is live. <laughs> But, um, oh, there I see myself. Okay, Brandon, thank you. The youth will be meeting this Sunday at 1230. Um, and that will take place on Zoom. And I'm sh the Super Bowl doesn't take place until, I think it's 430. So youth, you'll have plenty of time to participate both in going to youth group and then also watching the Super Bowl if that's something you care about. Um, this coming Wednesday, a week from today, we will have a board meeting. So if you are a board member, look for more details about the agenda items coming out for that. And let me 
look to see if there's anything else to make note of. Um, there's a landscaping seminar around the corner. Ash Wednesday is coming up on February 17th. And um, when Ash Wednesday starts, that begins our season of Lent. And with the season of Lent, we are um, going to be kicking off our Dig Deep fundraiser, which is where we're going to be raising money to provide water for a family in Navajo Nation. And the outreach project that we're going to do to help raise money is to have an online auction of handmade items, whether that's artwork or baked goods or a craft or something you've made or something you've collected of someone else who, of someone you know who's made something. Um, we are right now are in the planning stages of it, so we are collecting people's entries who want to donate items for the auction. I'll list leave the link so that you know how to do that and you can submit your item you would like to donate. Thank you for those who've already done that. We've had quite a good response so far. Our goal is to hit 40. We're hoping to have 40 items for the 40 days of Lent. And we hope this is something that people of all ages will participate in. So children, maybe, um, I know my kids have gotten um, lots of beads and Mike could make some bracelets. Like I know Vivian's done that in the past to raise money for things. Or, um, but really everyone, anyone at any age, we'd be glad to have you participate in that. Um, and then that's going to kick off. The auction will go live February 28th through March 28th. I'm really excited for it and think it's going to um, just go really well. We're going to coincide our worship series during Lent to match that theme of Dig Deep. And we're going to look at um, stories in the Bible that involve stories about wells or water or thirst and um, go through Lent with this theme of Dig Deep. Speaking of Ash Wednesday, Ash Wednesday is going to be a little different this year. We're going to have to um, be creative and make some changes to how we've done Ash Wednesday in the past. But Ash Wednesday is February 17th. And next week on this weekly video, I'm going to um, invite you to join me online. I'm going to burn some palm branches from last year to make the ashes. And then we will. I will prepare the ashes by... Um, loading up some q-tips and putting them in baggies for anyone who might want some ashes we're not going to have a service in person together in the same way but we can mail them to you and then um, online through social media we can make a hashtag where we encourage everyone to share their ashes with each other so we can see how everyone's wearing ashes even though we're apart but there's going to be a few ways so you can either and i'll make this clear next week in our next video but you can request ashes through the mail or you can come on Ash Wednesday, the morning of Ash Wednesday, between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. We're gonna have a drive-through Ash service, Ash um, opportunity, so that you can come in your car and I'll distribute the ashes. I won't mark you with the ash because that doesn't really fit the protocol of social distancing, but we'll ha I'll give you a loaded up Q-tip in a baggie that's been sanitized, and you can receive an ash, your ashes that way to go. Um, also, we're going to have some car window marker, so we're going to mark the mark across on your car um, if you would like that. And then another thing is our children and youth, we are going to be sending out materials about Lent, but also about Ash Wednesday, and in that material will be a tattoo of a cross. So um, you can, with your children, put the tattoos on, on Ash Wednesday as a opportunity to talk about what Ash Wednesday is about and the marking of a cross um, leading us into the season of Lent. So lots of different things. We will also be having an Ash Wednesday online worship service that will premiere on Facebook and then be shared to our website and YouTube, but that will be at noon. It'll be a short, simple Ash Wednesday online service. Um, so I'm looking forward to all of those things. And let me see if there's any other things. Um, yes, so we, I see the auction items, the, I've talked about that, and then also the need for warm socks, boots, blankets, we're collecting them, and we'd love to add your donations to our collection. 
All right. Well, thank you for tuning in. And next week, join me as I make ashes in preparation for Ash Wednesday. And join us this Sunday for worship. We are going to continue our theme of We Call Ourselves Disciples. And of the five Bs, we're going to be focusing on this Sunday on the B um, word bread and exploring how sharing and communion together is an integral part of our life as disciples. All right, I hope you have a great rest of your day and look forward to worshiping with you on Sunday.